We are taking exercise 4.7 RD Sharma Solutions, class 10 Maths. This is chapter number 4. So the questions are basically on Pythagoras theorem. You have to understand that if this is a triangle and one of the angle is 90 degrees, say this angle is 90 degree. So the side opposite to this angle, 90 degree angle is hypotenuse. This is base. This could also be the base and this is altitude. So the area will be half into base into altitude and one more thing Pythagoras says according to Pythagoras theorem the hypotenuse square let us say ABC. AC square will be equal to AB square plus BC square. This we are going to employ. So, if the sides of the triangle are 3, 4, 6, determine whether the triangle is a right angle triangle. One more thing we need to understand that in a triangle, always sum of two sides will always be greater than the other side. So, we will take these two sides so that we can get this side. So, we will ap apply the because it is a right angle triangle. So, we will apply what? We will apply the Pythagoras theorem. So, we will add square of 3 with square of 4 that is 3 square plus 4 square that will be 9 plus 16 that is it will be 25 and then we will square the third side that is 6 36. So 25 is not equal to 36 that is why this is not a this is not a, a triangle following Pythagoras theorem that means this angle is nine, not 90 degrees so it is not a right angle triangle. So, this is a converse proving of Pythagoras theorem. Then again, we will see uh, all these with the same scenario. We will square these two and try to add them and equate with the square of 25. So, 7 square is 49, 24 square is 576. We add them, we get six, this uh, 625 and 25 square is 625. So, if you see this 625, 625 are equal, that means this triangle with these sides is a right angle triangle and this is by the converse of Pythagoras theorem. Again, we will take 9, 9 square plus 16 square, whether it is equal to 18 square, no it is not because uh, this is 324, this is 337, it is not a right angle triangle. Again, 1.6 square plus 3.8 square, let us see if we add the square of these, can we get the 4 square, okay. So, just, uh, I will just leave this for you. Uh, or rather let us see what is happening here. This is uh, 1.6 square if you can multiply this 1.6 let us add them complete it now. 1.6 1.6 this will be 1.6 1.6 16 16 is a 6 6 is 36 6 3 carry has 6 is a 6 1 6 9 is 6 1 6 so this is 256 and because of the decimals I will just add the decimal later. 38, 38, 8 is a 64, 8 is a 24, 30, 8 is a 24, 8 is a 24, 2 carry, 3 is a 9, 9 and 11. So, we get 4, 4, 1, 4. Now, let us use the decimal now. Let us add this 14.44, add it with 2.56, you get what? 10, 1 carry and 10, 1 carry a hand, 4, 5, 6. 6, 7, 17 you get. Now here you see this is 4, 4. 4 square is what? Is 16. So you are getting 17 here. So they, the triangle is not a right angle triangle. But in the fourth case, if you see 8 square plus 6 square, 8 square is 64. And uh, 6 square is 36. 6, 36 and 64 adds up to 100. And this 10 square is 100. So this final one, fourth one is a right angle triangle. A man goes 15 meter due west. So let us make like this. This is north, this is south, this is east, this is west. So the man goes 15 meter due west. So it, he goes 15 meters due west. Then 8 meters due north. 8 meters due north. How far is he from the starting point? That is this distance we have to find. From the starting point, this is the distance. So we'll how to find this? 15 square plus 8 square because this is 90 degree 
we can find it out using 15 square plus 8, 8 square using Pythagoras theorem. So this is 15, this is 8, 15 square plus 8 square is 64 plus 225, 289. Let us take the under root of this because we are using Pythagoras theorem. AO square will be equal to BO square plus AB square. The under root of 289 is 17 meter. So this guy is 17 meter away from the starting point. A ladder 17 meter long reaches a window of building 15 meter above the ground. Find the distance of the foot of the ladder from the building. So this is the figure. This is the 15 meter building. This is 17 meter ladder. And we have to find the, the, this distance. Let us say it is x. So x square plus 15 square. We are using Pythagoras theorem is 17 square. x square will be equal to 17 square minus 15 square. 17 square is 289 and 15 square is 225. This is equal to 64, x will be equal to under root 64, that is 8. So this is 8 meter. We are using Pythagoras theorem. Two poles of height 6 meter and 11 meter stand on a plain ground. If the distance between their feet is 12 meter. So this is 6 meter, this is 11 meter. The distance between them is 12 meter. Find the distance between their tops. That is, we have to find this distance. This distance. See, this is 12 meter, so this will also be 12 meter. This is whole is 11, this is 6, so 11 minus 6. What will be the, this distance from here to here? It will be 5, 11 minus 6. So what do we get? We got a triangle like this. This is 5 and this is 12. So what this will be? 12 square minus 5 square under root. So this is 144 minus 25 under root. And this is... Uh, oh, or rather, this will be plus, sorry, 5 square plus 12 square. This is plus. So we get 169 and this will be 30. So this distance AC or the distance between their top is 13 meter. Next is in an isosceles triangle ABC, two sides are given as which are equal as 25 meter. BC is 14 meter. Find the altitude from A on BC. So we have to find this. Okay. So what we will try to do here is, these, these two triangles will try to make them or prove them as similar or rather congruent, not similar, congruent. When they are congruent, then we can apply the Pythagoras theorem. So this is 25, this is not known and this, if it is known, then we can find this altitude, AD is the altitude. So first triangle, this this triangle and this triangle. This is 90 degree, this is 90 degree. This side is equal to this side and this side is common. So by, or you can take this 90 degree and this side is common and this is also equal. So RHS, by RHS congruency theorem, this triangle is equal to this triangle. That is ABD is equal to ACD. So when they are equal, we can, this side will be equal to this side. So this whole is 14, so this will be 7, half. And this is already given as 25. What this will this side will be? We'll apply the Pythagoras theorem. So let us say it is x. So x square plus 7 square is equal to 25 square. x square will be equal to 25 square minus 7 square. 25 square is 625. 7 square is 49. 6, 625 minus 49 is 576. What will be x? x will be under root 576, which is 24. So this is the altitude. That is AD we have found out. The foot of the ladder is 6 meter away from a wall and top reaches a window 8 meter above the ground. If the ladder is shifted in such a way that its foot is 8 meter away from the wall, to what height does it tip reach? So the scenario, I will draw them separately. First the scenario is this one. Ladder height will remain same. Okay. So this is 6 meter away. Okay. This is 6 meter away and this is 8. The window from ground to window. This. So First is this one. So we can find out the height of the ladder. 8 square plus 6 square under root. So this will be 8. 8 square is 64. And 6, 6 is 36. We will take the under root. So this will be under root of 100. That is 10. So this is the height or length of the ladder. Now in this second scenario, the ladder reaches up till here only. Ladder reaches up to here only. So let us say this height is x. Ladder height, ladder is what? This is 10. And now it, the distance from the from the uh, foot of the ladder to the to this wall, you can say, is uh, is 8. 
So how to find this x? 8 square plus x square equal to 10 square. So x square will be equal to 10 square that is 100 minus 8 square is 64 that is 36. So x will be equal to under root of 36 that is 6. So BC will be equal to 6 meter. This will be 6 meter. Oh, sorry, this will be 6 meter. From here to here it is 6 meter. Top poles of height 9 meter and 14 meter stand on a plain ground. If uh, the distance between their feet is 12 meter, find the distance between their tops. So here we first height is given two poles. This is 9 meter and this from here to here it is uh, 14 meter. Now the distance between these two poles is 12 meter. So this will also be 12 meter by construction. And what will be this height? 14 total minus this height, 9. So 14 minus 9 is what? It is 5. So this is 12, this is 5. What will this height be? 12 square plus 5 square under root. So what do you get? We have already done this type of question or this these numbers we have already done with. So 144 plus 25 which is equal to 169. We have to take under root. So this will be 13. Distance between or distance between A and B or distance A E sorry A E is distance between their tops is 13 meter. Using Pythagoras theorem, this is a figure. You have to determine the length of this AD from here to here. Okay. In terms of B and C, so what we will do here is first of all, what will be this B C? This is C and this is B. So what will be this? Because this is 90 degree. So B C will be equal to B C square will be equal to uh, AB square plus AC square which is essentially equal to B square plus C square. Okay, BC square is this. So BC can be written simply as under root B square plus C square. Now let us take two triangles. First of all the main triangle which is ABC and then this, this triangle that is BAD. Now here this angle is uh, 90 degree and this is also 90 degree. Then this side is common to both of them and this angle is uh, also this angle is also common to both of them. So these two triangles are similar. So when they say they are similar then we can take the ratio that is this AB that is C by BC that is under root B square plus C square. We are using this one B square plus C square. This will be equal to AD. What is AD? AD is not known to us by AC. AC is what? This A and C is nothing but this is your B. So what will be AD? AD will be equal to BC by under root B square plus C square. This is the answer. Now in copy pen and examination you have to write like this only. Okay, This is just for your uh, the approach we have to take. A triangle has sides 5, 12 and 13. Find the length to one decimal place of the perpendicular from the opposite vertex to the side whose length is 13 centimeter. So here is the figure. We have to find this length. How to find this length? First of all, we will use some uh, different uh, approach here. We can also, we could have done using the, the similarity what we have done in the previous question. But let us do in some other way. First of all, if this is the triangle, this main triangle, forget about the this AD now, uh, sorry BD now. Forget about the perpendicular from the opposite vertex to the side. Just this is our triangle, this is A, B and C. This is 90 degrees, so as I said, what is the area? It will be half into base into altitude. What is the base? This is the base, which is 5. What is the altitude? This is 12. This is 12. So what do you get? 2, 6, 12, 5, 6, 30. This is the area. Now when we when you take this triangle, this triangle, again we will use the same half into base into altitude. What is the base here? If the altitude is this one, base is this one. So base will be, base is 13 and altitude is BD. Half into 13 into BD and what is this equal to? Because the area will remain same, either you take this this way or that, that way, it will be equal to 30 only. So 30, this uh, BD will be equal to 30 into 2 divided by 30. This I will take in the denominator. So 30 into 2 by 13, that is 60 by 30. 
so this is about this exercise uh, we have taken the pythagoras theorem in order to solve various type of question and we have used the similarity as well 